I'm uh, Robert Sima. I'm one of the senior colorectal surgeons at the Mayo Clinic Rochester. And um, my main specialty is minimally invasive surgery uh, for the treatment of colon and rectal diseases, including uh, colon and rectal cancer. Uh, colorectal cancer is one of the most common cancers uh, in the United States. It accounts for uh, it's the number three, uh, the third largest number of patients have colorectal cancer and um, it's the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths. However, it's one of the most preventable uh, cancers and one of the most easily treatable cancers if detected early. And uh, this being uh, March of 2009 is colon cancer, uh, colorectal cancer awareness month. Uh, one of our main issues is making sure people get appropriately screened. A uh, colonoscopy, which is a test in which uh, you take a preparation of your bowels and have a, a tube placed into your bowel uh, while you're sedated and we uh, the physician can actually look at the bowel and remove polyps which are the number one precursors for colon cancers. If the polyps are removed the chances of developing a cancer are significantly reduced. It also is a mechanism for early detection of cancer in the sense of during a screening colonoscopy or during uh, evaluation for symptoms uh, an early cancer can be found and if it's early enough uh, surgically treated uh, you know, with a minimally invasive approach. What we try to recommend to people is uh, at the age of 50 at least start with a screening colonoscopy or if you have symptoms that related to change in your bowel habits or that are recent or uh, abdominal pain which is unusual and persistent or even uh, blood in the stool uh, period, uh, that's probably one of the more uh, worrisome ones because that usually is related to a more advanced cancer. The advantages to early detection is that uh, if the cancer is confined to the bowel wall, the chance of cure with surgery is extremely high, well into the 90% range. And the purpose of the surgery is to remove the cancer to avoid any symptoms that it might develop, but also to uh, better stage the cancer to see if it's spread into the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes uh, collect fluid from the bowels and, and clean it for the body to tolerate it, and it also traps um, cancer cells that are starting to travel. And if we do have lymph nodes that have cancer in them, there's a potential that that's a sign that it has spread and that you need chemotherapy. Now most people are always concerned about having uh, what they call a bag or not being able to have normal bowel motions. For an early detected or even a moderately advanced stage colon cancer, the chances of having a permanent uh, colostomy or ileostomy or an external bag as some people call it are extremely low if you have a surgeon who understands how to avoid those issues and to do reconstructive surgery. In regards to rectal cancer where the cancer is low in the intestine near the anus there is a chance that you might need that but with new techniques new minimally invasive techniques and a, special, a specialty center such as uh, the Mayo Clinic we're able to preserve the anus in the vast majority of patients, avoiding the need for permanent colostomy. However, in some patients, um, that uh, uh, is unavoidable, and it's really uh, a decision between uh, treating the cancer effectively and not treating the cancer, as opposed to avoiding uh, the need for a stoma. The operations themselves anymore um, can be done avoiding a large incision using uh, television cameras and small instruments. Sometimes in certain select cases we also use a robot uh, which assists us in uh, helping in the dissection. The vast majority of our patients now can be in the hospital for less than five days after having major abdominal surgery if it's able to be done laparoscopically. In my practice well over 70 percent of my patients end up with a laparoscopic approach. The average length of stay in the hospital is four days and most patients are back to work in three to four weeks. That doesn't mean that the surgery is any less effective than, than what a normal big open procedure would be. As a matter of fact, there's a number of studies, one of which was headed here at the Mayo Clinic that have looked at this across the world. And patients who have uh, laparoscopic colorectal cancer uh, procedures have the exact same oncologic or cancer-related outcomes over five years than the patients who have the open procedure. However, there were a number of benefits noted, fewer complications, less time in the hospital, less time away from work, uh, faster recovery, and less uh, need for pain medicines. All of these things we've shown to be real significant benefits both in the short term and the long term for our patients. 
the main thing about colorectal cancer is it's treatable. It's much more treatable than most other advanced cancers. Newer chemotherapies are also extending the life of our patients who have advanced disease, where some patients were given you know, less than a year to, to live. Now, often, we're talking about three to five year survival, even in patients with advanced disease. In patients who get detected early, the survival is much better than it used to be even five years ago. So the main goal of learning about colorectal cancer is that prevention is reasonable and easy to do with a colonoscopy, and that if you are detected with polyps or uh, a cancer, that the options for more uh, uh, less or the options for less invasive uh, therapies are available, and that uh, the outcomes are exceedingly good uh, in patients who have pursued uh, taking care of themselves as far as early detection and screening, and who are uh, looking for options other than traditional open surgeries.